I seriously have the sweetest boys ever. Every single time Matthew goes and checks the mail, he brings me back a flower. This is today's flower and it, he's just so sweet. My boys are seriously so thoughtful. I feel honestly so blessed. They're so, so sweet. But we're gonna do really, really casual vlog style video today. So I thought we would do a get ready with me. It's been so long since we've done a get ready with me. Today's gonna be really, really simple, clean makeup. Um, I have been really loving the clean, no makeup looks. Today we're gonna use Beauty Counter products. I did partner with them for today's video. I'm gonna share their uh, Dew Skin Tinted Moisturizer and a few of their other products. So let's go ahead and dive in. I've already started applying the um, Dewy Skin Tinted Moisturizer. I have it in number four, which is the one I'm using. I also have it in number three, but I think right now with my current tan after my vacations i think the four is perfect i'm gonna use their beauty sponge which is so soft i love this sponge i actually really like the flat side um but as you can see it's really subtle it's a lightweight like sheer tinted moisturizer but it still gives really beautiful natural coverage it's basically a mix between makeup and skincare you've also got spf 20 um, it's just such a beautiful, beautiful formula, especially for summer. I like, like I said, I like lighter and I've really been into the no makeup looks and a tinted moisturizer is perfect for that look. So let me blend this out. So next up, I'm gonna go in with the, uh, look at how pretty that color is. This is the Cheeky Clean Cream Blush. I did put a little bit of cream contour. My face definitely needs a little cream contour, but I'm just gonna blend it in with this. Look at how pretty that color is i've really been loving cream blushes oh, it's so so pretty look at that color i love how it's buildable and i'm just going to blend it in with the contour and blend it up and i'll blend all this out so i'm just doing a quick little light set but look at how pretty the blush is i think the blush is my favorite i i think just in general blush and contour is my favorite step in the beauty routine. I am going in, even though I've already powdered and adding just a little bit more blush. Like I said, it's my favorite. I can't stop with the blush. Adding just a little bit more, just to kind of, you know, wake it up a little bit. And then I am gonna go in with, this is the Pearl Glow Illuminating Cream Highlight. I'm just gonna do my finger. Again, quick, quick and simple. It is like a must for me to add like a little bit of something here in the inner corner. See how that like brightens that up so much. I love it. I'm also going to add a little here on the bridge of the nose. A little here before I add some lip color. Just kind of highlight all these little areas. This is like a must step for me, no matter if I'm doing a lot of makeup or a little. So I'm not going to be doing any eyeshadow today. Again, we're going very, very simple today. This is the medium shade in the brow gel, also from Beauty Counter. Like I said, all these products will be linked below. Um, I do fill in my eyebrows, but uh, I don't want anything crazy when I'm doing just kind of like a no makeup look. Like see how that just makes it look, like it just kind of cleans it up a little bit. I love this step. Brows are so important. And even just something as simple as like, I mean, what's that, like a 30 second brow? I'm done and they're perfect. I've got two different options as far as look goes. I've got their Sheer Genius. I, one of them is just, I ended up getting just kind of like a clear, let me show you on the hand. It's just like a clear like lip balm. It's just got a little bit of shimmer. This is in the shade Twig. It's really beautiful. Look at that. Oh, that's really pretty. That's really pretty. But I think I'm gonna do just the lip gloss. This is, this have a name. This is in the shade Clove in Beyond Glass, and let me put that next to, oh, you know what, I think I am gonna do Twig, since it's lighter, I'm gonna do Twig. So that's just like the clear one, that's Twig, and that's Clove in the gloss. I'm gonna do Twig, I think that's such a beautiful color. So just for something really soft and simple, and I'm not even gonna apply it like a lip gloss, I'm just gonna dab it on a little bit, just a little. So here is the finished look, and I think it turned out so pretty, and I only used six Beauty Counter products. I'll make sure to link all the products that I used in today's video down below, but if you haven't seen the previous video where I talked about Beauty Counter, I did wanna mention two other products. This is their Reflect Effect AHA Soothing 
facial mask. I highly recommend this mask. It makes my skin feel so beautiful and fresh and clean, and it just looks so, so smooth and fresh. I um, highly recommend this. I love this on days that I know I'm going to be applying makeup because my makeup just goes on so much smoother. And if you're a mask junkie like me, you've got to get this like three-in-one, four-in-one tool. I use it all the time for scooping out my masks. You can also apply your serums. You can also just do kind of like a face, facial massage. I really, really highly recommend these tools, but I'll link everything down below. And thanks again to Beauty Counter for sponsoring this portion of the video, but let's go hang out. Okay, the lighting is so much better in here. I always say the lighting in my house is really awful, um, but you can see the lip color so much better. Isn't that such a beautiful, beautiful color? Look at who I have with me. We're going to grab some lunch. He didn't even know. We're going to go have some sushi. <laughs> he loves sushi. So you're going to hang out with Matthew and I. We're going to grab some sushi for lunch and then go do a little bit of grocery shopping. So let's do it. I will never cry for you, cry for you, cry for you, cry for you. I can take this anymore. You say we're done. lipstick touch up I really really love this color and it feels so good on the lips it's super super hydrating I know it's totally cliche to talk about how hot it is my car currently says 97 degrees and we are barely in June it is miserable I cannot even imagine how hot it's gonna be in September but we just finished up with groceries I just got a few things this was not full-blown groceries I just had a couple of recipes that we wanted to try out we're probably gonna make those tomorrow i might even do a what i ate in a day there is this pesto egg recipe that i'm excited to try and there is this shrimp skillet recipe that i found that i want to try as as well um so we're gonna go home put these away and i guess just hang out let's see i went ahead and deboned the rotisserie chicken we weren't planning on eating it today so now i can have it in the fridge all week long for quick and easy like lunches if you follow me on instagram and watch my stories you know that i um got this bag in recently i wasn't sure if i was going to send it back or not just because i bought the prada one after i ordered this one but this one was on back order for like three months so i completely forgot it was on its way and then it showed up and i was like do i really really need both Obviously, as you can see, I decided to keep it, and I'm so glad that I did because I really, really like it, and it's actually a little bit more comfortable, no, honestly, a lot more comfortable to carry than the Prada one because I can carry this one on the shoulder. Um, I just wanted to kind of show it to you. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Max. It's super, super roomy and fits a lot, um, but it also just has a very, very natural like boho vibe. I just love it. Max wanted to check it out as well. But as you can see, it is super roomy. And these are basically all of my SLGs that I carry in my bags, minus the phone. I'm filming on the phone now, but I'll show you that in a second. So first up, we have the Toiletry 19. This is my purse junk drawer. I've got my lip gloss in here, my hand sanitizer, lotion, band-aids, you know, just all the things like that, like powder, uh, perfume, stuff like that. Next up, I have my full-size Zippy wallet. This is my full-size wallet. So so I only carry this in my larger bags, but I carry cash in here, some cards in here, like cards that I don't reach for that often. Um, insurance information and stuff like that is in here, just like important paperwork. I also keep some coin in here as well. And then next up is my sunglasses case. I do have a pair of sunglasses in there, the ones that I was wearing a little bit earlier. 
And then I have my mini wallet. So this is the wallet that I take with me with my smaller bags, but it also goes with my larger bags just because I don't wanna move everything in and out of it every time I go into a larger bag. So for larger bags, I carry both my full-size wallet and my mini wallet. And then for smaller bags, I just carry the mini wallet. This is this is the um, Zippy Coin purse. I keep my ID in here and my go-to cards and then a little bit of cash and then maybe like receipts or anything like that. And then the last thing in here is gonna be my six ring key holder. This obviously has my key fob. I have like a little mini mace in there. Here, let me show it to you. It's, It has been through the ringer, look at it. it is, I've had this for many years, but there's like a little mini mace in there. And then of course my car keys, my house key, mailbox key, stuff like that. And the only thing not in here that I normally carry is my phone case. I'm using it right now. So this is the only extra SLG SLG that I would have in my bag as well. While we're talking about this tote, I thought I would go ahead and bring out the Prada so you can see them side by side. As you can see off the bat, coloring is a little different. This is lighter. This is a little darker, like more of like a medium tone. I think they're both really beautiful. Um, this one has stuffing inside. If that was not in there, it would be super floppy, if not all the way flat to the ground. So this one is definitely a looser, looser, um, you know, like raffia, whereas this one is definitely a lot more structured and tighter. Um, obviously, you can also tell that this one is a lot larger than the Chloe. The Prada is much bigger, but I also want to point out just the size of the handles. This can only be on the crook of the arm or handheld, and this one is a lot longer, so you can carry it on the shoulder as well. So it's just really, really comfortable to, to, to carry. They're both huge, like huge. This one can fit so much more, and that's because it's still smaller than this one. Here are the two bags side by side. The Prada is clearly bigger than the Chloe. Um, and you can also just see how much larger this area is because I can put this one on the shoulder. It's really, really comfortable. And this one can definitely not go on the shoulder. On another note, I just wanted to share these sandals. I just got these in and I got an amazing deal on them. I'll link them down below for you. I love them. I'll link this entire this entire outfit. These jeans have been a major go-to for me. I love the raw kind of distressed hem. They're a high rise. And then I love a good distressed tee. I've been wearing this one for so long. I have two. So I wear this a lot, but it's because I have two. Okay, let's go see what everybody's doing. Come on. Let's go. Let's go see. Let's go see. Come on. Come on. Let's go see what everybody's doing. Where is Mr. Max? Let's go find him. I found Miss Roxy. <laughs> Hello, Miss Roxy. Let's go see. Come on, let's go. You want to come? Let's go see what Matthew's doing. <laughs> what you doing? You're playing sword drawers? Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, there's Mr. Oh, <laughs> I think he took one of your soldiers. Oh my goodness. What are you playing? Soldiers with Legos. Who's winning? The, um, Legos. The, the Legos are winning? Yes. Oh, well, it looks like, it looks like Roxy and Max are gonna play too. They're on the soldier side. This guy is obsessed with my hair ties. He's got one right there. Come on, Max, let's go. Come on, come on. You wanna show him that you play fetch? It's the funniest thing I'll show you. He said he is not in the mood to play fetch. He just wants cuddles and belly rubs. That's it. Right, Mr. Max. Just give me the belly rubs. Just give me the belly rubs. That's all he wants. And Lexi's just chilling out here on the banquette. You can see she's starting to get older looking in the face. It's so sad, but she's doing really, really well. She's about 17-ish. It's, we, we don't know exactly because she was rescued, but she's doing really, really good for 17. There he is. People always ask about you. You don't like to be on camera as much, do you? Yeah. You get shy? Yeah. <laughs> I want to show you how tall he is, though. He said he could be on camera today. You're getting really tall, aren't you? Yeah. You had a growth spurt. You're a little bit taller than your brother now. You were actually a little bit shorter. Who's that? Is that Maxie Poo? Yeah. <laughs> you want to show them your braces? <laughs> he's got the rubber bands now he has to wear them all day long but, so he just wanted to say hi say hi <laughs> okay bye
I thought I would show uh, a few things. Well, what I'm currently watching, but also just a few things that I recommend. Here, let me zoom in so you can see the TV a little bit better. Um, if you haven't seen Mist Mistresses yet, that is such a good series. Also loved Revenge and Brothers and Sisters, one of my favorite series. You definitely have to watch that. I am currently watching this right here. It's called Nine Perfect Strangers. It's very different and it's a little bit slow, but I am actually liking it just because it's different. I am all the way caught up, all the way up to season 16 on Grey's Anatomy. I need to watch the current season. Um, and then I need to catch up on Handmaid's Tale. And then The Girl from Plano is really good as well. Oh, and Desperate Housewives. I've literally watched this show like three times. I just love, I don't know. I just feel like they don't make shows like that anymore. But yeah, this is what I'm currently watching. I think I'm going to watch an episode. Matthew is bored. <laughs> so I'm going to hold off on my show. And I thought we'd ask him a couple of questions. Oh, really? Really, Max? Really? Really? Okay, it's Q&A time for Matthew. What should we ask? What has been your favorite thing about summer so far? Uh, spending time with you. Oh, that's so sweet. I was telling them that it was actually the intro to my video. What is something that you do every single time you check the mail? I get you a flower. How come? Why do you do that? To make you feel special. Oh, you're so sweet, buddy. I literally have the sweetest boys ever. And hmm, what else can we ask? Let me think about it. Who is your favorite pet? I don't know. <laughs> uh, right now, I would pick Max, probably. Max, how come? Because he's always in my room. He likes to play fetch. He's just so much fun, isn't he? But we really do love them all the same, don't we? Yeah. They're all so special. Can you imagine if mommy never found Nala? That means we wouldn't have Max or anyone. Or Roxy, right? We had never met Socks or Star, right? Or Trixie. <laughs> I just can't even imagine, right? Do you want more animals? I do. What do you want? I think I want a German Shepherd. A German Shepherd? That would be a really good dog. A big one. We don't have any big dogs, but that would be a good one. Your birthday is coming up. What do you want for your birthday? Pokemon. Pokemon cards to fill up your Pokemon binder. Yes, ma'am. That's all you want is Pokemon? And I want baseball cards. And baseball cards. What do you want to do for your birthday? Uh, probably either go to, go to Bingo. Or, <laughs> Bingo uh, is fun, right? Uh, or what else? Or main event. Main event. Those are two really good options. Well, you've got a couple more weeks, so you need to make a decision. Let me know once you decide. Okay, <laughs> okay say bye. Bye-bye. Mason decided he wanted to answer a question. So I'm going to ask him, what do you want to be when you grow up? Be a chef. You want to? Oh, I, thank you. We need a chef in the family. What are you going to cook? I could cook mommy salmon and you salmon Matthew and I could cook I could cook daddy salmon too. <laughs> what else do you want to cook? I would make some dessert. Oh mommy can help me with the desserts. Oh yeah? We we definitely need a chef in the family. That's a good idea. I love that idea. I think you would be an amazing chef. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay, now it's bye for real. Say bye. Bye bye. <laughs> I am about to jump on a work call, so I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. If you're new to my channel, my name is Amanda. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification button so you don't miss any future videos. I typically do fashion and luxury videos, but I've really been enjoying these more casual vlog style videos. I really love just kind of connecting with you on a different you know, way and showing you a little bit behind the scenes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks again to Beauty Counter for sponsoring a portion of this video. Make sure to check out all the links down below in the info box. And before you head out, make sure to watch one of these videos that's popping up on your screen right now. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.